So in this clip I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how to produce line graphs and bar graphs. We're going to start on my favorite newspaper website, The Guardian, and it's favorite because it's got a data section. Excellent. Uh, not everything that's on here is without fault, but I think it's great that uh, you know a newspaper dedicates special section to data and how to look at them. We're first going to look at the uh, uh, a contribution on GDP that's here because last week it's the end of January here it was announced that the quarter four GDP growth is negative negative 0.3 percentage points and we're gonna get the data here here's a big table okay with all the data and we're gonna download these data so they're now opened in a in a Google Doc and you could just work on here but I prefer to download them into Excel. I'm just a bit more uh, comfortable with Excel. But if you don't want to pay Microsoft, you may as well stick to Google and get proficient there. So here are our data. Uh, sorry, here are our data. And we'll just ignore this error message. You can do that. So. Um, here we have growth data. Um, you know, we talked previously about the ABMI data in uh, in the last video. Now, but here we have the growth data. So we just want to plot them. I don't want to talk a lot about the actual data. You can see here at the very end, quarter four, 2012, we have negative 0.3. That was what was published last week. So once you highlight the data and you want a uh, a graph where you go to is insert and here are certain graphing options the most common ones we'll be using will be columns and line graphs and later scatter graphs so go to line just pick the standard and here you have a line graph and that's a great start okay you should never publish a graph like this obviously because it doesn't say what it is so we somehow we have to do a little bit of work on this graph to say what we what we have now you can do this up here are now certain options. For instance, you can say that um, you want a chart title and you can basically just edit this here and you could say uh, UK GDP growth and it's quarterly. Okay, quarterly growth and that is possible. The title explains what we have here already, unless Control Z to undo what I just did. Uh, you could say here that the unit is in percentages, okay? And it's UK GDP growth, so that's pretty obvious. We don't need a legend here. What we would like is some dates on this graph. And the easiest way to do that is if you right mouse click into the graph and there's a select data option and here there's an option horizontal axis labels we click on edit and you currently it just says one two whatever however many observations we have you say edit and now you can highlight what you want to have on that axis and here we'll just now highlight our our data okay and that is the dates we want to have here. So we click OK. Click OK here. It doesn't look very nice yet, so we can uh, we can manipulate a little bit on this. We uh, can uh, so the axis. So what we want to do is we want to manipulate the axis. So you can go to layout, go to axis, and say here what we want to manipulate is the horizontal axis, go to horizontal axis and um, we can go on to the extra options and now there's all sorts of all sorts of things we can do. For instance we could say interval between uh, labels, okay, interval between labels that says how many labels, so it's a bit too many for my uh, for my taste, so if you click this and say one unit, it'll try. It will try to put every date in here. 
will uh, put, let's say we put every 10 years in, that is 40 quarters. Okay, so I'll say we'll do this. Okay, so that looks a little bit better already. We could also do every 5 years. Let's see whether that looks alright. That's not too bad either. So, but what we also want is we want this axis further down. Okay, we want, don't want it in the middle of the graph. Let me see where we uh, find this. So where we find this is, if you look on this, down here it says vertical axis crosses. So that controls where the vertical axis crosses the horizontal axis. And it says uh, automatic or category number one, so the first observation. But what we want to control is where the horizontal axis crosses the vertical. So what we need to do is we need to go to the vertical axis control. So we close this, we go to axis, vertical axis, we go to the options down here, and here it says horizontal axis crosses, automatic is usually at zero. Possibly what we want is we want it at say negative three. So I will say negative three. Close. Excellent. This looks uh, much better. Now this looks like a quite decent graph and you could now just highlight the graph and copy this and paste it into Word. That would be quite decent. So that's enough for a line graph. You, you can add extra line graphs. You can add extra line graphs to this. For instance if you go, let me just uh, hint at this, right mouse click again, select data and you could add series here and then highlight the additional series. Okay, we, We're not going to do that here now. So that's what we what I want to show for line graphs. Let me close this, I won't save it, let me go back to uh, to the Guardian, but what I'm now going to do is another website that's also in the lecture notes, again from the Guardian, about another very recent issue. You may have heard that uh, the uh, health minister, uh, Anna Subri, made a link between um, income or wealth of families and um, whether kids in the families are obese or not. And here are some some data. And you can see some you can see some of the data here in the graph. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so for instance you can see this is the percentage of obese men and women and you can see here the different categories from the least deprived to the most deprived. And you can see for men obesity increase increases somewhat for the most deprived but this increase is much more obvious for women. Okay, So the, the, the impact of social deprivation it seems to be much stronger for women than for men. Now what I want to do is I want to get the data. So here in the, in the Guardian section of the Guardian the good thing is they always link to the data. So I will get the data here. Uh, again, it's a Google spreadsheet, so let me download this as Excel. Here we go. Alright, so now you have all the data here. There are a few categories. I want to make them bigger for starters. Uh, a few categories here, for instance, we are uh, looking at deprivation, least deprived to most deprived, least deprived to most deprived and the two different sets here is for men and women, men and women and here we have overweight and, and obese or, or obese and here we only have obese so really there are fewer people who are obese as compared to overweight or obese. Then uh, instead of deprivation what we have here is income we possibly expect more or less the same pattern. We actually we can have a look at this. And we also have a different measure of being overweight and that's a measure of uh, waist circumference. Alright, and perhaps we'll, we'll, we can just look whether we, we get similar results. So let's look at 
man first. Let's say we want to have to see whether the let's see the obesity. We look at the obesity only, whether the rate of obesity varies with depending on what area you come from, from least deprived or most deprived or somewhere in between. So we highlight the data. Again we go to insert. Now we want some sort of bar chart. We want vertical bars, it's called columns in Excel. Horizontal bars are called bars. It doesn't really matter. Okay, The, the information will be the same. Usually we use vertical bars, just a very standard one. Oh, let's use some round ones. That may be nice. Okay here you go. Again, same issue, never publish a graph like this. There is absolutely no no explanations here. So let us put some meat to this chart title percentage of obese and so percentage and that, that should be pretty clear. Here we only have men so we could add, we could add that but what we're going to do is we're going to add the women information in here as well. So there are two more things. Firstly we have to say what the blue bars are. Now that's the percentage of men. We're going to do this in, in a minute. We also have to say what 1, 2, 3 and 4, 1, 2 to 5 is. Okay, That's the sort of quintiles of deprivation. So we go right mouse click again we go to data and to do the horizontal axis labeling we'll again do this okay and we have that so we went to horizontal axis labels edit and highlight it in our table where the labels are exactly the same as with the line graph so we still have the one firstly series one let's go right mouse click again select data series one you can go to you have this highlighted and go to edit and you can edit the name here and we just say that is man again you could highlight a cell but I'll just type man and now we see that in the legend now if you want to add another series you can now go to edit uh, sorry cancel not to edit we want to add a series and let's say we want to add the women series and series value will now have to replace this with the cells where our data are in. Uh, it contains an error because it didn't, okay, uh, you see it left this um, one at the beginning, so we have to delete this. Okay, here we go. Now we have our women data. Right here we have a nice little legend uh, that does this, so that that's very nice. Oh, uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I'm messing up, so I'm going forward. I undid something, so I'm going forward. And we quickly add the data, add it again, add women. Oh, we can go. I want these data. Make sure I get rid of the one at the beginning. That's fine, and I need to change the name for the men series. I'll change that to men. Yeah, that's all honky dory and I click OK that's what I forgot so that's quite obvious we we could if you don't like these bars being next to each other you could go to design you could change the chart type here you can see you can change the color schemes and perhaps I should say that at this stage if you're printing black and white you may want to change it to the black and white scheme because that's optimized for for printing in black and white, if you want to change the chart type, you just click here and let's say we want to want them behind each other, the two different series, and then we have this. You can of course change this somewhat. Okay, so this is the way how you uh, can create bar charts. Possibly I usually prefer less fanciness to more fanciness, so possibly the, the just plain bars rather than the shaded uh, tons are somewhat nicer. Okay, here we go again. You could just highlight highlight the whole graph. Control C to copy and Control V to paste into a Word document. There you go.